An emotional moment tonight between friends, family, and even strangers as they come together remembering Calvin Isaiah. 24 year old was shot and killed in late August. The story's new at 10. Tierra Braddock was at tonight's Take Back the Sight vigil held for Isaiah. She joins us now live in the newsroom. Tierra. Sean, Calvin Isaiah's family want him to be remembered by what he stood for and the joy he brought to many people. A moment of remembrance during the Take Back the Sight vigil held for Calvin Isaiah, a young man who was killed at his home on East 26th Street in August. Isaiah's uncle Gary Horton was one of the many family members and friends who came out to honor the 24-year-old's life. Yeah, Calvin was a very funny guy and um, had a lot of friends. According to his friends and family, Isaiah was involved in his church and also encouraged people to get out and vote. He was uh, certainly involved in our community with us, helping get people registered, helping get people out to vote. This is the second time tragedy has struck in Isaiah's family. His brother Darren Germany Jr. was killed on New Year's Eve of 2016. We never would have thought that lightning would strike twice, uh, but it did. And we believe as a family that uh, we're not the first, we won't be the last, hopefully. The Benedictine Sisters of Erie and others held a Take Back the Sight vigil for Germany just last year, and now they are with his family again for Isaiah's vigil. I think it shows really the commitment to come together around a family, to come together when when someone's life has really has been senselessly taken, when someone's life is completely devalued by violence. Isaiah's family also calling for justice when it comes to his murder. No suspects have been identified in his case yet. And this is the 115th Take Back the Site Vigil that's been held in Erie since 1999. Sean. Tara Braddock reporting tonight.